What in the Matrix hell? Welcome to the space. Welcome, King James. I'm a cartoon? Oh! <laughs> What's up, Doc? What's your relationship with the franchise? Do you remember watching the original film or even watching the cartoon characters when you were coming up as a kid? Well, absolutely. Uh, how could you not? I mean, when I was a kid, I grew up watching Bugs, Taz, Sylvester and his battles along with, with Tweety, you know, the Roll Runner, dead with the Coyote and the Coyote not being able to ever catch the Roll Runner. That was part of my childhood. So to be a part of their family, as loony as their family is, uh, you know, it, it was an honor for me. Hey, what'd you do to my son? The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. You want to play me in basketball? You got to win this game. Let's end this. Got you, cry and get our son back. Fatherhood is a theme in the film, and you've been a very visible father. Why make that conscious choice? For me, um, you know, I, I grew up in a single parent household uh, with just me and my mom. Um, so I, I already knew it when I grew up that, you know, if I had kids, um, I was blessed to have kids. Um, fatherhood was gonna be at the top of the list, um, being present, uh, being around, being receptive, listening, learning, to be able to bring some of those life lessons that I've had and those morals that I had into this film, where we talk a lot about fatherhood and a lot about you know being present, but also now having to listen where your kids get a certain age and they have aspirations of their own. So Malcolm Lee, uh, the great director, a friend of mine, he did a great job of being able to capture those moments in this film. And it was just an honor to be a part of it. You've been really complimentary of Canadian sports fans and their intensity. What are you expecting from Canadian film fans? Oh, the same thing. I see the fans in the, in the Jurassic Park when the Raptors are doing their thing in the, in the playoffs or in the finals. I hope I get that same, uh, <laughs> that same excitement for Space Jam, a new legacy when they see the movie. But I've always had respect for Canada and obviously my ties to Toronto with my brother Drake. You know, hopefully this film brings a lot of laughs and joy and excitement and passion uh, to everyone in, in Canada. You mentioned your brother Drake, he's done some acting. Your other brother Michael B. Jordan has done some acting. Did they holler and try to give you some tips as you're now a leading man? Absolutely. You know, they just told me just to, you know, have fun with the process. Uh, the hours are gonna be long and they're gonna be different than anything you've ever done, but enjoy it. Um, you know, cause the, the finished product is gonna be something that you can never imagine or dream about. So uh, just enjoy it and give yourself to it. His appearance on the biggest stage has become routine. When all is said and done, this four-time champion takes a backseat to no one. So Space Jam Legacy is the title, and you have a family legacy, but you also are creating a legacy as an athlete, as an activist, as an entrepreneur, and as an entertainer. What do you want your legacy to be at the end of the day? Well, I just want to be respected. I want to continue to inspire the youth. I want to continue to give back to my communities and communities all over the world. And at the end of the day, I want people to speak for me, you know, and, and my loved ones and, and the people that I inspired along the way and tell people who I was and what I did. So while I'm here on this planet, I will continue to, um, you know, to do things that's, you know, for the greater of good. I need to assemble an elite team to help give my son back. I know what you're looking for, a dream team. Welcome to the Space Jam. Thank you for continuing the legacy. I got to watch the original one with my dad, and now I got to watch this one with my son. And you don't often see the story of black fatherhood and legacy in film, so I appreciate you, thank you, and good luck with it. Oh man, Donovan, I, I really appreciate that, man. It means a lot, and uh, thanks for talking uh, with me and speaking to me, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, see you soon.